Hello guys and welcome back to the NW Sportscast. Big news as Mariner fans today. A. Eugenio Suarez traded. One year left on his contract. And who do the Mariners acquire? We acquire catcher Sebi Zavala and relief pitcher Carlos Vargas. And it, it's very frustrating as a Mariner fan you know, I want us to make big moves, and it seems like we're doing the opposite. We, you know, got rid of, you know, Teo. Now, now we get rid of Suarez here. It's frustrating. Suarez has been a really good player. He's one of the most beloved Mariners um, on the team. Good vibes only. He's a super fun player. Hits bombs. He seems to come up clutch. Um, but the contract seemed to be too much for the Mariners. We shed $11 million by getting rid of Suarez. And we don't pick up much salary with Vargas and with Zavala. But we all know what how much Eugenio Suarez brought to the table as a Mariner fan. What do these new guys, Carlos Vargas and Zavala, bring? Vargas is um, a hard-throwing 24-year-old 6'4 relief pitcher. So he has all the intangibles. I mean, he has all the tangibles, but it's the intangibles people are kind of worried about. Because he has a 5.79 ERA, 1.93 whip, 7 strikeouts in the big leagues. And in the minors, he wasn't much better. In the minors in 2023, he had a 7.02 ERA in 38 games. Before that, 2022, he had a 3.67 ERA, so, you know, a little bit better. But... This guy is definitely, you know, isn't a polished player by any means. We should not expect him to be on the roster next year. Um, but, hey, we've seen this before. We, we've seen the Mariners get these random relief pitchers from random teams, you know, maybe pick them up as free agents, trade for them in, in, in deals like these, and then they turn into something. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happens here. Um, Vargas, again, it's just he needs to – he really needs to work on his control – and he needs to really dial in some of his secondary pitches. And he could be a good player. The problem is, he's not there right now. And as a Mariner fan, um, you're trying to win right now. At, at least that's what I'm thinking. Um, you got all of these young players. You got, you know, Julio, the best young pitching staff in the league. You got guys you're working, you know, building around. And I don't know how much longer this core group is going to stay together. And I don't really want to wait for Carlos Vargas to be some amazing player in two or three years. I, I want to be good right now. So it's frustrating because Eugenio Suarez could help you right now and Carlos Vargas can't. It looks like, you know, Urias, Luis Urias will be our starting third baseman. And that's not something you want to ha see happen. The free agent market really isn't that good. You have a few guys on it. You have, you know, Matt Chapman, who obviously... Um, you know, had a down year in Toronto. You had Justin Turner. You have Evan Longoria, Gene Segura. But, like, these guys are all going to cost a lot of money, more money than Eugenio Suarez, and I don't see how much more value they really bring to the table. It's tough. It's it's tough to justify because I, I don't see us... I don't know. I see a lot of people on Mariners Twitter and, you know, online say, oh, this is insinuating a um, potential trade or potential free agent acquisition of a third baseman um but I, I just don't see it I, I really don't I feel like we don't have the assets to really get any huge third baseman and also fill our other needs this year which is another outfield or, or you know something along those lines I don't see it so you know it, it's 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 quite frustrating um but let, let's look at the other guy Pretty much backup catcher. Um, his name is Sebi Zavala. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. He's 30 years old, 5'11". Um, he's a catcher. He, he's a good defensive catcher. Will uh, play good defense for you. Can pick people off at second base. But he, I mean, his slash is just nowhere near. I mean, it's just not good. 175 at bats last year. Uh, 171 average. Seven homers, 18 RBIs, and a stolen base. I mean, he hits 170. So I mean, it kind of tells you all you need to know there. You know, his defense is good. He'll call a good game. He can occasionally give Cal Raleigh a few breaks. But, you know, Tom Murphy is a better version of this. And this pretty much means we're not bringing back Tom Murphy. So, I mean, 
might as well say bye to Tom now, and it looks like we're not going to re-sign him. I'd rather have Tom Murphy than him, So, and we could have gotten him for not training a Eugenio Suarez. So, you know, it's frustrating for sure, but Zavala will bring a little bit of depth to um, the team. We, he will be our backup catcher um, more than likely for most of the year unless things go south. Um, yeah, so, so Carlos Vargas and Sebi Zavala for a Eugenio Suarez. It, it's frustrating for sure. It, it makes me really question, um, you know, it, it makes me really question Jerry Depoto and, you know, I have already have been obviously questioning him and his, his staff this year, but, you know, it, it makes it hard to see w w what their vision is for, for the rest of this off season because, you know, now we've gotten worse. So, uh, it's just frustrating. Like, this should be the time when we're like making our moves, making our push, and we're not. It, it, just, it, it just seems like we are like waiting for. Like I don't know. I I want to be the one to make the move. I don't want to see all. I, I don't want to see all the action pass us. And you know, one second we traded a Eugenio Suarez, and now we're starting Luis Urias or whatever as a third baseman. I mean, that's not. You're not going to win a World Series like that. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I do want to read you guys what Jerry Depoto had to say about the trade. He said, "Quote, it's kind of a long, kind of a long uh, quote. So stay with me." Quote: First off, I want to thank Gino for his contributions over the past two years on and off the field. The day he walked in, he told us good vibes only, and he brought that mantra to our clubhouse and our fans. He's truly one of a kind, and we're lucky to have him as part of our club. Adding Sebi and Carlos is another step forward to building the type of deep roster that is required at the major league level. Sebi is an experienced catcher with excellent defensive skills who will team up with Cal behind the plate, and Carlos is a young reliever with the type of big stuff that our staff has done a wonderful job developing over the years. It's kind of exactly what I said. Um, you know, a backup catcher and, and a guy who has potential for, you know, one of our best players in the last few years. Kind of frustrating. Um... But it, it seems like something that, you know, Jerry DePoto did say in his in his press conference back, uh, you know, when the season ended, just kind of kind of eliminating um, all the strikeouts and, and, you know, the lack of contact that the Mariners have had, the lack of being able to score a guy, you know, being able to bring a guy um, at third with no outs home. I mean, that's ridiculous. You should be able to to you know roll a ground ball or or hit a fly ball into the outfield mm -hmm. with a guy in third. So this could be kind of that, um, you know, with tail gone and with Eugenio Suarez gone, like that's the majority of strikeouts right there that you just kind of eliminated. So that does make me excited. Hopefully, we'll be a more contact hitting team. But we lost a lot of pop. We lost a lot of pop with um, Eugenio and with Tao now gone. Oh. And with Tom Murphy, for that matter, it looks like he's also going to be leaving. So those three guys, the, the kind of the trio, not looking good at all. Um, as far as you know, our, our power hitting, you know, side of the, of the game, it looks like we declined. But it looks like we should hopefully be able to um, have a lot more contact this year. It looks like that's kind of the route that Jerry Depoto and you know Justin Hollander and all of them are trying to move towards kind of a less swing for the fences uh home run or nothing type mindset so we'll see what ends up happening but yeah this trade i you know i love love suarez there's just so many good memories um last year i one of his game you know against the blue jays walk off in like the 11th inning and uh, i still remember it or you know his crazy black and white hair his good vibes only t-shirt that he brought out the fun the joy the the you know the laughter that you know, he really did bring it's it's something that you know he, we won't be able to show in the stat book or you know production on the field but it does matter you know and i think that's something that hurts us a lot you know Eugenio Suarez was a really good leader a beloved clubhouse guy, someone that always brought a positive energy to the team, and now that's going to be missing. So, yeah. 
you know, I, I never thought that Eugenio Suarez would be this important of a player to me, but he really is. You know, two years ago when we got him in the Jesse Winker trade, Jesse Winker was kind of the highlight star of that trade. And I was like, oh yeah, also this guy named Eugenio Suarez, he's been pretty good for the Reds, or he's been pretty good for the Reds in the past, had a bad year, but, you know, he's looking like he's pretty good. And, yeah, now he is, for sure. So, um, you know, I mean, just a little bit too much swing and miss um, for Justin Hollander and Jerry Depoto and my li my liking, to be frank. I don't hate the move. I don't love it. Um, you know, I want to do it personally, but we do get rid of $11 million of cap space, and we do get a little bit more depth. So that's that was the mindset by Jerry Depoto. We'll see if it pays off. We'll see if we get anyone good. But even as far as you will be missed, um, go have fun with – your buddy in Arizona and Paul Seawald. Thank you guys. This is the NW Sportscast. I will catch you guys all later. Peace out. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video if you made it all the way to the end. It really helps us out. Appreciate it, guys.